Hi guys, in this session we're going to be looking at some facts about um, like terms. So let's get started. All right, so with like terms, I'm going to just start throwing some variables up out, out here and then we can start discussing which of them are like terms and which of them are not like terms. Okay, so the first up, I've got 4x and then I've got 3x. So with how you recognize like terms is you don't really worry about the number as much, but you look at the variables. When I say variables, the letter, uh, the powers in the letter, those things are really important. So in this case, as you can see, I've got X here. And then on this side, I've also got an X, which means both of these things are the same. Their powers are the same. Therefore, these two are like terms. All right. Now, if I say my next one, I actually bring in a different variable. So, for example, 2Y and then negative Y. Once again, I look at just the variable. I'm looking at just the letters. So I've got Y and here I've got a Y. The powers are the same because both of the powers are one. So I know that this is also like terms. However, if I start bringing in um, 7X and 7Y, what you'll notice is the two letters are actually different. And therefore, these two are not like terms. All right, they're, they're not like terms. And finally, I could have something like this, where I have something like 4x squared and 3x. Now, the letters x and x are the same. All right, that's not a problem. But the power in this 4x squared is 2. And then for 3x, I've got a power of 1. So even though the letters are the same, but the powers are not the same. So therefore, in this case, these two are not like terms. And finally, looking at um, something bigger is if I have something like 3x squared y cubed, uh, 2xy to the power of 3, and I could have something like 4x squared y cubed. Now, out of these three, if I try and look at which of the two, which two of them are like terms, I need to look at the variables. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at my x squared first or x's first. So I've got x squared here, but I've got x here. So straight away, these two are not going to work out. And I've got x squared here. OK, then I got to look at the, the next variable, which is y. Now I've got y cubed here. That's fine. Got y cubed here as well, but I've got y cubed here as well. So y cubed is pretty much all over there. So the two like terms in this case is going to be that one and that one. And that's because they have x squared y cubed and they are the same variables in both of those red circles. Cool. Those are like uh, that's in pretty much some inter, um, ideas about like terms, guys. All right. Thank you for watching.